Wakurugenzi na jeso zingine tunakuoga very quick kujaju wa say lakini hatukua kitu tumejiweka imbea shoes mazee tujue kwa nini wako vile wako we very quick kusema mazee wa nurses rombaya but wewe uki kwa na one bad day kila mtu around wewe anajua uko na siku mbaya oh makanga na kuitisha tu fair ushamu kashif one bad day huyu ni mtu hapa first of all ana struggle na mshahara kidogo nature of their work ni stressful lakini tuna we expect that wako on their a game eh? 24/7 yeah ni nas anafaa kwa na rosa fine nas okay kwa kwa viatu zake for one day utakuwa na rosa fi kweli kweli hmm? Hawa polisi wamezidi wanaokota chwani chwani kila wakati. Yeah, bad manners police wana very corrupt. Hata ujui huyu mtu bana anapeleka nyumbani mshahara inatoshana aje. Haujui ni watu wangapi wanategemea hako kama mshahara na haujui the nature of his job. Huyu ni mtu akiamka asubuhi yako ayuko sure kaa atarudi home. All that for peanuts lakini tuna expect sichukue hiyo msini no 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 don't this is bad manners sisemi corruption ni poa ya askari lakini maybe kama tungekuwa tume provide a conducive environment for them maybe 50 bob yako ingekuwa the list of their worries i am yet to see a guy bribing a police officer in dubai why ju <laughs> chances are that police officer is earning more than you are so ana need ana aja 200 yako maybe tunge adapt the same tungeanza kumaliza story ya hii corruption ndogo ndogo iko hapa kwa barabara but no huyu anafanya hii kazi important ah mpatie 1017 atakuwa sawa mm. watu wengine tunawaondokea kwa traffic hii hii weka gari kando wo wo mkubwa anapita na kula mshahara ya milioni kazi ni kulala bonge haidhuru ni sawa ni sawa sitapiga kelele nasema tu mnielimishe enlighten me ni kwa nini kwa hivyo mbona tunapelekaga pesa mahali yaki and the people who need it the doctors the nurses the teachers the police officers au ndio tunakandamiza and we expect them to be on their a game enlighten me species to the cars man and hit us and come akawa man ukiona mkurugenzi hapa amefunga macho you just know i've got the juice <laughs> mwaka ni 2011 tarehe ni 15 mwezi wa oktoba watu wako barabarani hii kitu hii kitu wewe nani hao kuna wakora kama watatu kuna mapolisi wako pale nyuma wame yani ni hapa hapa kidogo kidogo Mtu ameangushwa chini, mwingine ameangushwa pale, mwingine ameangushwa pale. Wale wamebaki wamekimbia hivi hivi, mmoja amekula mavekta, ameingia mahali panaitwa Buruburu Estate, kuna ka estate kadogo pale e, inaitwa Prudential. Ameenda mazee, ameruka ukuta. Wap. Pale ndani ya hiyo nyumba ambayo ameruka, kuna mama pale na kijana wake, wako tu pale wako shughuli zao, wana bugva, wana mushkil. Wanasikia ai Commotion pale nje ni nini na happen kupiga kate hivi kuangalia wanaona jamaa anaruka ukuta maze anaingia kwa compound yao jamaa hayuko peke yake on his side ako na rafiki yake mkubwa automat kolishnikov aka aka 47 <laughs> see what i did there 
e k e e k nipatiwe recording deal sasa <laughs> alright jamaa ameruka ukuta kuna gani yake pale ameenda amepata kijana huyu mwenye anaishi kwa nyumba na mama yake anakuaga na zile weights za kufanya hiki tu hiki tu sana so, mandume inafikaga mahali unataka bana so amewacha weight hapo maze akachukua ile kitu akagonga mlango ile design ya SWAT mnaonaga SWAT vile wanaingiaga <laughs> kwa, kwa nyumba za watu kwa movies <laughs> ruka ndani oh madha na mtoto wamepaniki wamepaniki so jamaa akaambia okay sina shida na nyinyi kanyageni nje mama na mtoto very fast toka nje enda kabisa jamaa kaenda kafunga geti ya nje vizuri anianje ama ni hiyo mlango amevu i think ni hiyo mlango alikuwa amebunja ka barricade kajifungia ndani akashika position pale juu mama na kijana wametoka nje ndio sasa wale gengeng inaingia jo makarawa kwa nyuma mazao wamekuja hapo na heavy artillery wamejipanga proper so wanafika wanapata madha kwa hapo nje amepanic na mtoi wake wakaulizaniaje mtu wangu umeona kijana ameruka hapa ako na bunduki wakaambia madha kada ya ameingia kwa nyumba yangu amejifungia huko ametufukuza mimi na kijana wangu so tuko hapa nje makarawa akaambia ina mambo tulia wacha tufanye mambo yetu na wakajipanga hapo wakakula strategy ya kutoa jamaa kwa keja wada naomba tukule pause kidogo hapa tuko tarehe 15 Oktoba mwaka ni 2011 Kula rewind selector 8 years to 5th Oktoba 2003 5 Oktoba 2003 kuna recruitment matata sana ya General Service Unit eh, GSU Vijana wamejitokeza wako tayari kwa udi na uvumba Sijui kama hiyo saying inafaa ingia hapo nimeiweka tu ndio ni sound Ya, yeah. wamekuja pale recruitment deadly. Among the young men pale kuna jamaa anaitwa Masha. Masha nickname yake eventually ilikami kwa RSM. What does RSM mean? To be really honest, I don't know. Wasewa detail yake walikuwa namuita hivyo. So hiyo ndio jina yake ya pale. So first of all wakaingia pale four and a half months. Ngori training wapi? GSU eh, training college pale eh, ni Ruara kama ni Mbakasi ni correctini hapo kwa comments. Kapiga four and a half months yake safi. After hapo mnapewagwa nini? One week. Muende relax kidogo sababu we training is no joke. Waende watulie mta. After one week warudi sasa waende bush. 100 kilometers from Nairobi eh, uko eh, area za Kajiado. Kuna pia JSU training grounds ziko huko wanafundishwa mambo ya eh, artillery na nini story. Unajua mambo ya vita sasa. So akaingia huko another four and a half months. So in total our watu wamekuwa training for nine months. Needless to say by the time kijana au vijana wamemaliza training ya pale Kajiado wakirudi pale headquarters ku graduate hawa ni vijana hatari. Skill check wako sawa ni watu unaweza tuma kwa the four companies of the GSU watoshe vizuri niko sure mnashangaa hizi four companies ni gani number one ni presidential guard number two ni reke number three ni pale headquarters number four hiyo ni mtiani niandikieni hapo kwa comments hiyo company ya nne ya GSU inaitwa nini the very first one nitaona comment yake hapo mtu wa kwanza Naweza kuwa attempted ni mrushie kama chando ice. Talk to me nicely. Yeah. So kijana ameingizwa pale, yeye yeah, ako kazi sasa. Eh. Unajua mzee ukiwa kijana ukiingia job unakoga na my expectations. Uko pale mzee mpaka unaanza kupromise na vitu jo. Mimi nataka ni sasa nimepata kazi. Nataka nikiingia pale bana nipige kazi vizuri shara yangu nifanye mambo abc najua tumekuwa tukikula shida na familia hapa wamenilea nini niko kazi sasa tu maisha inakuwa sawa <laughs> unaingia pale unagundua we 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 kwanza kamshara kanachezea unajaribu kufanya vitu mbili ta alafu unajua the more unaendelea ku grow the more responsibilities zina come haka kamshara akapandi ile rate tunataka sasa lakini bana lazima bana utafute namna life lazima iendelee 
So for this young chap maze masha yani ameona imefika point ame serve pale ndani for some time so amefika point sasa imekuwa hey, okay kazi iko sawa nini but hey, 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 hapo kwa do na need na need namna na need job design tu ya ku make things maze ku make ends meet man so what does he do anaenda maze anapiga hesabu yake mbio mbio anaona since niko kazi na niko na mshahara na qualify for a loan nikichukua loan naweza ingiza kwa biz alafu hii mshahara yangu najua ni kidogo but tukikatakata kiasi nilipe hii loan alafu hii loan maze nifanye nayo kitu itani generate ya income at least maze nitaanza kula soft life kidogo juu eh as it is ai kukuwa karao wenyewe ni ngumu mshahara ndio ni kidogo so maisha bado ni ngumu eh so maze lazima jo namna itafutwe so bana kijana mdogo mashaa anaenda bank anachukua loan anaenda mazee ana set up biashara kake kadogo unfortunately mazee wadao kuna kariya zingine bana ukishaingia mambo ya kuwa na side hustle we sahau imagine tu sahau bana ku combine biashara na kukuwa police officer mazee first of all ikaleta ngori so akawa na hapa design ni ku get msee ashikilie busy yake as yeye anapiga nini anapiga wera juu hiyo era hii mshahara yake ndio inalipa hii loan kwanza kabla hii biashara hii is stabilize maze so akaeka msee hapa jaribu kushikilia busy yake but si unajua tu wase wangu maze wakati jo mtu ana run biashara na biashara yako na si yake ajui umepitia nini ku set up hii kitu hata ipatia ile unajua attention maze ina deserve jo so bana before long man biashara jo ika collapse amechukua loan pale kwa bank maze ana design ya kulipa alikuwa na expect him sha hii busy ta, at least itajipa ndio hata isaidie ku clear hii loan bana so busy kaisha maze ikakuwa ndo hivyo sasa unapiga kazi uko na mshahara kidogo hii mshahara kidogo unalipia loan ambayo ulichukua yenye ikusaidi hata kama wewe ni nani maze inafikaga two point maze ah, unachoka So Masha one morning tu aliamkatua asubuhi na akatoka tu nje na akaishia. Pale sheria inasema mazee after 21 days Joe ni officer atuja kuona pale station yako mazee you are officially a deserter. Wewe sasa tunaanza kukutafuta. So yeye ashajua hivyo so akaamua sasa mimi nimeenda nimeenda lazima nitafute alternative mazee. Lazima hii life inikubali. So bana Masha ameenda ameshikana jo na genge pale. Kumbuka uni mseme piga ile 9 months ngori ya training bro huyu si mtu unataka akwe on the opposite side of you uni mtu unataka mkuwe timu moja juu mseme kule hiyo training yote akiamua tu wacha sasa katambe watu wangu mtafurahia so alienda maze akashikana na kikosi hapo mazee wakaanza kuterrorize wase embakasi watu wa walali watu wanatekwa oh oh, oh. Juu wanatekwa vi professional umse anajua ku handle business amekula ame training bana kuna kitu ya fire unamwambia wewe mwenyewe uwezi yani ako tu sawa maze so needless to say bana eventually makarao bana wakashikanisha eh hey, yo hey, kuna jamaa amekuwa kisumbua hapa maze na intel inatuambia huyu jamaa bana alikuwa mmoja wetu John alikuwa officer na ana terrorize watu hapa nje so maze wase kama hao kukua kwa street dangerous It's very dangerous when so either ni kwa neutralize ama ashiku awe kwa ndani atulie yeah other is tutapata tabu sana hapa maze saa ikakuwa sawa wale vijana bado wako ground wanatimiza mambo yao wanatimiza mbaya one time maze tarehe 15 oktoba 2011 form imejipa move t kuna kampuni Mombasa road iko na mali mali safi wakawa na mazee kampuni tukiteka hapa tunapata dofiti mazee so hii lazima katambe tuko tayari tuko tayari mbogi ni ya mtu ngapi mtu kwa three gangsters yeah i think ilikuwa three gangsters kama sijadanganya among them masha former gsu officer so wamepanga mikakati yao saa saa mazee wameamua niaje tukutane mahali pale kangundo road ndio twende tufanye nini to execute unfortunately i'm a fortunately i don't know for, unfortunately for them fortunately for the company owners information ili leak na makarao mazee wakapata tip off 
siko sure ni kutoka kwa nani watu walipata tip, tip off ya kwamba a vijana wamepanga kwenda kuangamiza kampuni wapi Mombasa Road na as we speak wame rendezvous wamekutana wapi mahali pale Kangundo Road wanajipanga ndio waende wafanikishe maze so makarao kuna kupoteza wakati wakafika hapo haraka upesi so makarao wakitokeleza hivi jo akina masha na cronies wana realize ah Mazeni kama hiki tu imeungua John kama tumejulikana pia sisi ni mbio. So ni kutoka Mazeni kwenda I think hata walikuwa anakimbia mguu eh, not very sure. So Mazeni kuna karao hata ana agenda. Yeye yeah, ako tuka ndo ya barabara maintaining law and order, you know. Like a normal police officer would do. Paranoia. Ikaambia ama jamaa ah oh, ukarao ako idha yetu. Man, I think actually Okara alikuwa na control traffic as, as in hakuwa hata na idea ni nini na happen but juu kwa paranoid maze akili inachukua ga back seat mse moja tu alichomoa kamambo kaka kaweka karao chini wadau sasa wale makarao wanapasua watu sasa wakaingia unajua ile rage sasa watu wameangusha mmoja wetu maze huyu jamaa hata akuwa kwa hii story maze ako kazi mna piga umtu risasi eh hey, ikakuwa sasa ni ngori sasa kama mbaya mbaya tufungue vita sasa maze ni shoot up shoot up shoot up shoot up by the time unafika pale caltex ya kangundo road in kangundo road in join outer ring yo caltex na squeeze si caltex i think squeeze ni total if i'm not wrong kwanza moja akakulishwa ndengu quick fast kwa hiyo mele imenisua hapo maze unfortunately mava moja akiwa pia biashara zake stray bullet ikamweka chini maze one of the gangsters pia hata kufika mbali hata yake kwa down masha amebaki solo sasa amepiga hii kitu ameingia outering deadly ameenda ameingia buruburu zile sides amepata maze kuna estop pale inaitwa eh, prudential estate ameenda ameruka ukuta ampata mama na mtoto wake kwa keja maze amefukuza mama na mtoto wametoka nje ame barricade mlango pale akashika position pale juu but at the back of his mind alikuwa shajua the fact that nimejifungia hapa hakuna hakuna vile naweza escape hii kitu hapa barabara ni mbi ni mbili either nijisalimishe wanipeleke jela ama ni kuwe mangaa ni kule risasi yangu mimi wani wakimbize mwili straight so alikuwa na lot of uh, time to think hapo sababu gani <laughs> our good friends <laughs> the regular police Si wamekuja maze walimtoa mbio sasa wameitana kutoka kwa mapolis station hapo nini wamekuja wote wameconverge kwa gate ya mama pale prudential estate na kuambia ah watu walifiatua risasi i swear i think ilikuwa over 300 rounds Yo building ungeiona after hiyo siku maze ungefikiria jo ni, ni, ni museum wamepiga risasi kwa maukuta i guess uh, kukuwa na strategy i don't know but people were just shooting aimlessly report actually zinasema they were the only ones shooting huko uh, uh, ndani ni kama jamaa aku ana fire i guess alikuwa pia anaka chini anafikiria so hapa itakuwaaje so i guess jamaa akiwa pale chini mzee alijiita tu meeting akajiambia hasa hapa kuna ujanja mwingine itabidi tu nime surrender but jua wase wana shoot huko chini ya wakai nikawa nataka kunisikiza wacha nipige simu kwa wase wanaweza nisaidia so actually before pige phone ali try alikuwa na yell anapiga duru kwa anasema mazee mimi sina noma nadai kujisalimisha lakini na insist kuongea na wase wa human rights wase wa human rights wanafaa kama hivi kwanza jumi mazee siamini mbogi hapa chini naweza jiz naweza surrender bado muniweke risasi ba So mimi nataka kubonga na wasi wa human rights. Of course mzee hakuna msi anamsikiza. So akaona hapa design ni kupiga simu wapi kwa wasi wa media. So akachukua phone, aka call Geto Radio. Aka call mzee wasi akamwambia mzee ni aje wadao. Man mimi nimekuwa msemzi, mimi ni bad man na siku zangu 40 zimefika leo. As we speak, nimejifungia kwa Keja Buruburu Prudential Estate. Kuna halaiki ya makarawa kwa hapa nje wanapiga marisasi indiscriminately yani hawataki kusikia mambo yangu na mimi mzee misikatai i am willing to surrender lakini mzee hawa sevile wamejipanga 
misioni kama wanataka kunisikiza so tafadhali ni jo kama mnaweza reach out to us wa human rights wa come to anitoe kwa ingori mimi niko tayari kwenda jela mimi sina shida na mse nimekubali maze mimi ni msemzi na niko tayari kulipia makosa yangu man so as we get ready bana wanashindwa itakuwaaje i guess wali attempt to reach us wa human rights nini but yo yo ha time haikuwa on his side sababu ripoti ilifika pale Roiro <laughs> nikisema Roiro mnajua ni kina nani wako hapo one of the companies za GSU mazee wako pale wanaitwa the Reki company wale watu wacha nikwambie wewe ukiwa kwa ngori na ngori yenye umejiweka ifanye Reki waitwe mtu yangu siuandike tu will mapema sababu wewe tunakupatia dakika tatu at most at most wewe mambo yako tumemaliza so reki mazao kachapiwa kambioni aje kuna jamaa kwa hapa anatusumbua mbaya sana amejifungia kwa keja ya mtu uko 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 buruburu ah kwa keja eh ah. sasa watu kaa reki wakisikia jo mtu amejifungia kwa nyumba bana ya mtu hiyo tayari hapo tayari tushaanza kufikiria hostage situation nini hiyo sasa ime escalate hiyo sasa u, he threat lazima ikuwe neutralized so reki quick fast wakaingia prudential estate ama mimi sio na somaji amini hiyo design walifika hivi prude wakashuka piga gagi yao teke teke wakaingia ndani i kid you not it took them 3 minutes 1 2 3 na wakatoka kwa hiyo building ni kama hakuna kitu wamefanya wakaingia kwa gari yao gone masha was neutralized in 3 minutes after watu wamepiga marisasi hapo for 4 hours mambo yake ikaishi hapo maze reki wakarudi huko maofisi makarao wakokota jamaa pale pap wakamkimbiza mochari na safari ya masha ikakatikia hapo so first of all ni nonsense kuanza kuingia story ya crime hiyo tukubaliane hiyo na tumeshinda tukisema hapa mazee crime hakuna mali takupeleka hiyo rutu kiingia wewe jua njia ni mbili either tunapeleka mtu jela ama tunakimbiza mwili yeah, so you, you choose so despite zile ngori zote masha alipitia crime mm, i think kunge kwa na other ways za ku handle hiyo nini but that being said ni wasa wangapi wako hapa ndani mazee wana try to ku make ends meet lakini ile situation wamejipata mazee yani hata ikupati hiyo opportunity mazee unapiga kazi kama punda for peanuts lakini hata mazee kwenda kupiga hustle lingine hata iwezi job yako ikukubali so basically we nika umejitolea for this country Ah se hiyo ndio itakuwa plate yao forever as in hakuna kitu tunaweza fanya yani atuwezi amua tu for once our say wamekula ngori ya kutosha wacha maze tu wapatie tu do fiti hata hao wakijitolea maze kwenda ku protect na nini maze anajitolea na rosafi juu kila kitu yake iko covered mimi nikiamua sasa hii kwenda kukufia country yangu nitakufia country yangu nikijua maze hata nikienda jo family yangu imeangaliwa fiti kila kitu iko sawa Ase mazee hata wakiwa live bado familia zao zinakula ngori as in why why yeah so even ndo tulipoteza macha eh, masha kijana mdogo yeah mazee atu justify mazee nini zake jo hata alisumbua alisumbua live by the gun die by the gun lakini had the circumstances been different outcome inge kwa tofauti mimi nafikiri inge kwa tofauti mazee so to advocate for better le- ah sasa wenyewe wanatufanyia kazi maze frontline workers makara daktari nini walimu yo <laughs> yo <laughs> tuangalie ni tu watu wetu maze tafadhali that, that's all we ask <sighs> yeah na tunafunga siku hapo maze saturday tunakutana pale kwenye celebrity first encounters maana kama kawa mnajua inakuwa na jeans jeans kuruka maze Yeah, maze kama nimekubamba, you know what to do. Chaza kama wewe pale fanya mambo yetu. And of course, mjo bana sisi na team hapa tumewatambua mbaya sana. Shukran sana kwa kukwama na sisi season imefika nusu. Wacha tufunge hii season uh, hii, hii ya kwanza the first 26 to kule live yetu to fry. Au sio? Twende the next phase maze akina celeb first encounters. Ah no, sorry, akina young and stupid. Now the new show that I told you about bado tunaipika pika pale hiyo mm. ikiiva <laughs> mtanoa na watambua sana wakurugenzi all the best mzee 
Universe ikuwe kind on you maze musikule ngori musikule ngori Peace Leo natoka na njia mmezoea naenda narudi today I go with my okay chani acha kuongea sana